The flogcast may occasionally contain explicit content that makes it not safe for work or for minors. It also doesn't provide an excuse to just use the same words on Bay 13. Normal big footy rules still apply. <laughs> have the third and final outtakes episode of the Flogcast with more snippets of stuff that didn't quite make the cut for one reason or another. In this episode we'll begin with the top five Cat Wrangler moments that missed out. Number five. I was at the game on the weekend actually. Uh, we were there looking for KFC boy behind the goals. <laughs> Couldn't find him. But we did entertain ourselves with a bit of umpire heckling. We were asking the umpire all day. He's getting a bit annoyed with us. like, how big's your boyfriend's cock, umpy? Just before every goal. That's the shit you do in year five, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Fun. Yeah, but he shows you how big he is. <laughs> you just got to do that. You're a dropkick. <laughs> or when it's a point, you can go, how many fingers did you put in your wife last night? It's just endless. Yeah, I'm sure I've heard that before. Well, I hadn't, so we made it up on the weekend. That's how you game. Number four. Hang on, man. Before we start, is there any weird background noise coming from my end? No. Good. Okay, Why no what worries. are you doing? Okay, I reckon you should be allowed one sentence. Why is having a shower? Game. So I just didn't want it to come and throw on the thing. Can you... And you <laughs> shut the fuck up, Pat <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! My wife's away, so before he, before he got started, I just wanted to stop him. I know, but it was just. <laughs> I'm not taking it in there so you can listen to a shower, right? Bombers 2000. I was going to ask you to switch your video on, actually, but anyway. Yeah, that's that's what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> I was about to say Cat Wrangler's going to ask say something really inappropriate now, but um... <laughs> I was number three. Personally, although I'm not completely against Ricky's choice in women, I think he's done all right for himself for the ugliest man in the world. Like, I mean, that that young bird from Frankston, I'd like to ride her like the 515 Express to Frankston. Like, I think she's a bit of all right. <laughs> Probably cost less, though, that's the thing. Well, I think she'd cost less than a Mikey ticket. But, look, I, I don't mind his ex-wife either. I might go around to Brighton on the weekend and ask her if I can wash her windows, you know? I mean, if she'll sleep with Ricky Nixon, <laughs> seriously, she must be a filthy bitch and do anything to... <laughs> <laughs> he is ugly. Uh, but yeah, that bit about um, you know supplements is just an off-field supplement. Then Essendon really should get onto that because they're willing to try anything to increase their performance. And why should why should that stop on the football field? Yeah, that's a good call actually. Uh, maybe we could all uh, go around to Ricky's house and try and pick up our performance because that guy or an ugly man is getting laid way too much. Oh, I am jealous. <laughs> you sound it. Let's be honest. You sound yeah. it. I'm bitter. I mean, that guy. His head. <laughs> like a half shot minty. <laughs> anyway, I can't get over Ricky Nixon. I'm sorry. I'm going to sleep with his wife. It's the only thing. His ex-wife. It's the only thing I can do to overcome my, my hatred of the man. He's so ugly. <laughs> Number two. Do you know, I, I actually chased Kevin Sheedy around the footy ground when I was a kid. He, his team came to Horsham where I grew up. But I, I like him around the boundary line and like gave him a lot of cheek and he was getting so angry with me he was like red faced and fuming and I was like winding him up. I was about six or seven and I was winding him up like you wouldn't believe and saying how he was getting drunk on his uh solo because he was drinking solo and uh yeah he absolutely um lost his shit with me and totally just he chased me like but um I kept this you know several several meters away from him, so he couldn't catch me yeah so Kevin Sheedy is probably my natural enemy I think so there's more than just like a standard footy fan dislike for him. You've actually got history with with Sheedy. I, yeah, from a young age, I ran into Kevin Sheedy. He was walking the oval at, at Horsham Football Ground, and I was giving him a lot of sh- like a lot of shit. I was a really mouthy little bastard, and uh, yeah, he lost it. He went bright red, and he chased me, and yeah, and then I ran on the field at the end of the game, and Paul Salmon flattened me, and that's true. <laughs> and I remember looking up, and I came up to about his knee, and uh, he had a lot of acne, and. Uh, <laughs> and I've looked back and think, did that motherfucker mean that shit? <laughs> it's a true story. But yeah, anyway, there you go. And the number one cat wrangler moment that missed the cut. 
I'll throw in some good porno jokes there, mate. You can yeah. make that work. Uh, I'm, in, I'm impressed with not only your collection, but your historical knowledge and of dates. You know, <laughs> with if, if, it, yeah. if they offered a degree in it. Well, look, you know, I could I could bring it back around to the, the Scott twins, but um, I don't really watch a lot of gay porn, so... <laughs> well, what's not a lot, exactly? Boss that. Is that, is that meant, meant that <laughs> suck into it or what? Sorry, what was that, Ducks? When, when you say not a lot, does that mean that you, there's a little bit, or? or do you yeah, know? I have to do some. I have to do some research for Bosk. <laughs> and now we'll move on to the regular outtakes. In episode four, Gogoof was meant to join us, but never turned up. Instead, the Roy Lion joke was born. Does he know it's tonight? Oh fuck him, man! Let's just start. He can yeah. join in. Yeah. All and right. we can have like him special guest. Go Griff. To discuss North. I've got that um lines showed up, you know, with the one you wanted yeah. to talk about how I might say, you know, after ripping the heart out of Fitzroy, the one thing they had left was the Lions jumper. And the Bears were gone and taking that away from them too. <laughs> yeah. No, you have to say that they folded so we can make the Roy Lion comment. <laughs> Gotta use the word fold. <laughs> Fitzroy was gutted. But they folded. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want Roy Lyon to comment on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's an audio thing. <laughs> it's on YouTube comments or something. <laughs> Might just well, write. Maybe one of you can go, wait wait a minute, we're getting a comment in from Roy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right, that's got to go in. <laughs> yeah, his spidey sense is tingling. <laughs> <laughs> He's screaming at his own <laughs> internet phone. <laughs> And apparently, um, yeah, North Melbourne won their first game in a while. They did. Hello? And then we might have lost Ant. Yeah. Betroy people got to me. <laughs> <laughs> Roy says hello. <laughs> He's got you bound and gag, does he? Or well, bound to a chair at least. <laughs> Fritzel style. <laughs> I want you to go and retract your comments. <laughs> I did not fold. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Um, I think I've got a message from. Ah, oh, okay. I thought it was a message from Gogriff, but we've lost Ant Roy Lyon. Got him again. No, um, no. Has it? You haven't heard any, got anything from Gogriff at all? Nah, not not a word from him. So who knows? Oh, well, look. I was looking forward. To, I was hoping that he'd like start foaming at the mouth over some sort of North Melbourne like issue or something. You know, like <laughs> he wanted he wanted to get stuck into Petri kicking goals yeah. against the shit team. No idea where Griffey went. Must have got, he must have, must have got a bit nervous or something. Uh, there was a, a thread about North Melbourne. He just had to <laughs> not out dra- before he been dragged into a North Melbourne shit fight, and he's. <laughs> Elbow deep and he couldn't get out of it. <laughs> James Brayshaw's done something. He's just found out that James Brayshaw's in Canberra at the Hall of Fame and he should be doing something at North. Yeah, I was going to say he found out James Brayshaw, I don't know, used an expired coupon at a fucking, I don't know, Woolworth Central. <laughs> and <stop> it now. <laughs> Unfortunately, not everyone got it. All right, yeah. so if you want to try, I'm just going to turn it off on this phone because it, it keeps dropping out on this. Um, okay. kind of, maybe Roy Lyons got the number or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to say something here while, while we're like, who the hell is Roy Lyons? It's clearly before my time. He's just he's just a Fitzroy guy. If you ever say Fitzroy fold, he turns up and corrects you. <laughs> Seriously, go try it on the main board. There's a thread about there's a thread about Fitzroy on the bay right now. <laughs> say something about them folding. Guarantee you he will show up. It's like he's got this alert. How's it going? Um, How's Mark Mann didn't understand what Roy Lyon meant. You didn't listen to last week or not? <laughs> I did, and I didn't get it then either. <sighs> just say the words fold three times and I. <laughs> <laughs> here in your room <laughs> three times staring in the, at the mirror like um biggie smalls he comes out and gets you he wears his Fitzroy jumper comes out the wall <laughs> <laughs> no they did not fall <laughs> <laughs> it's a great joke now that I get it then it came up again later in the season not really it's just common knowledge that you you know you post something about Fitzroy, and you know he'll he'll be there within. Yeah, I don't know, cup two posts. Yeah, I, I literally asked him about. it. I was like, "Do you search function, or do you have some alert system set up?" He said, "No." I was like, "So what does he do?" It's like he trolls <laughs> the search function with you know Fitzroy most recent results. Oh, there's one. Warner probably does it for him. He's probably got his acolytes <laughs> out there. <laughs> 
Uh, he's sorry. like, okay, Maddie Vines, you you look after the team boards. Why don't you do the? <laughs> <laughs> In the early episodes, Vlad was a prominent target. Duckula, what has Andrew Dimitri been eating this week? Well, generally he, he likes his custard and he likes his pies. And this week he's been indulging in a fair few custard pies. He's seeing it as a win-win. But the problem is these aren't just your standard custard pies. He's actually just getting like a Mrs. Mac steak and mushroom. And he's just getting a, uh, a four-gallon syringe and injecting it straight with custard straight into it and, and hoeing it down. So he's been a bit gluttonous this week. <laughs> As opposed to other weeks, of course. Most, most definitely. This week he's gone the extra injection instead of eating two. Well, yeah, this is it. You know, it's just the uh, he, he's stumbled upon the the taste sensation that is mushroom and custard, and he's just uh, hasn't held back since. <laughs> that way, that, that that euphemism wasn't intended. I got to be honest. <laughs> here. They're not that clever a person, obviously. But, you know. He likes his he likes his buns full of custard. Does the old Andy D? You <laughs> <laughs> didn't have to go there, did you? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> He's saving his own life by doing as Andrew Demetrio said. You know, they're they're saving lives with this self-reporting thing. You know, is that so? He said that. Yeah, apparently this whole this whole self-reporting and and the whole um their whole stance on AFL has on drugs is, is saving lives apparently and saving players' lives by allowing to them to do this. Yes, I think Vlad's got his hand on his uh you know little friend with that comment. It's a bit over the top, but. Uh, well, has anyone, has anyone, does anyone know if Vlad has ever owned any records by Elton John? Because that guy could snort Vlad's weight in cocaine every weekend, and uh, he's still alive. So, I mean, you know, maybe we need to tell him about the Medellin cartel and that decade called the 70s, because I don't think many people have OD'd from cocaine. You know, they stay up for a couple of days and fall asleep, maybe, but that's about it. Vlad's weight, seriously? Elton John has a bit of an appetite. I can you know, exaggerate a bit. Vlad's a heavy man. He, he, <laughs> Certainly, certainly not weighed down by brain power, though. <laughs> That's a Scarface uh, amount right there. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Late in the season, Dan decided to channel Suze. Dan, shut that fucking door. All right, hang on, hang on. Guys, give me two minutes. I'll try and shut him up. Hang on. <laughs> Teaches at his grumpy best. Well, you know, we just... Hey. Little... <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he sounded like a shot. Dan's man. gone out and shot him. <laughs> Fuck. And when Ant was on, we sometimes slipped in some Limbo Club memes, starting with Suze's infamous showers. I can't yeah. we pick, dogs picked off a guy called Fuller. <laughs> Don't I, piss I, the I, I to work out that joke, yeah, that you said about the Pepsi. I was like, oh. yeah. yeah. You're referencing Home Alone, aren't you? Yeah, 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 the little nerdy kid with the <laughs> Pepsi. He pisses a bird on. <laughs> Remember that? He, he, he smiles at him and drinks the Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> he gives it, gives it, he gives him the shit eating grin there. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna piss on you. <laughs> That's like something Susie would do. <laughs> Cousin Corkin. <laughs> TLC's very own fashions on the field entrant Ben Carbonaro. Okay, latte is one on TLC. Yeah, he's he's responsible for the infamous um. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, um, okay, um yeah, sorry. I, I, you know, <laughs> Mrs. Thanks Ben's me now. Whenever I say something stupid, she knows the, she read it all, <laughs> knows the whole soothing, and whenever I say something dumb, she goes, "Yeah, thanks, Ben." <laughs> now, <laughs> last time I tell you an intimate. <laughs> thanks, Ben. And finally, Big Footy poster Admiral Afterworld. Oh, and Essendon cheating the rookie draft. I knew there was a fourth one. <laughs> Good old Essendon. Yeah. So what did that? They got fined. Uh, did they? Did it get sorted? I don't know. Well, we can we can say that when. Oh, did you just say you know they tr- try to inject one of the rookies with AOD or something like that. <laughs> What's a chubby look of one? <laughs> <laughs> tried to tried to rookie after food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't want the AOD early. <laughs> Dodoro says he rues and laments <laughs> picking after food. <laughs> In the postseason rap episode, Teach had a warning for paddles. And, and paddles, no yep. fucking politics tonight, all right? Just shut the fuck up about that. <laughs> uh, this is a this is a short, sharp, emergency um, 
congregation of the uh, of, of the flogcast in order to handle the events of the day. And then he later forgot about it. The one thing I like about the Geelong Best and Ferris is that they leave it until well after the grand final, as if they expect to actually make the grand final, mm. uh, as opposed to clubs who hold their Best and Ferris in mm. early September because. They know they're fucked and they're not going to play. Well, most yeah, most of them can book it in June. Yeah, actually, yeah, our um, our club special Ferris is booked on the seventh of September, which is like first Friday of finals, and it would have been funny if we actually had it made it and it had to get um delayed. Well, you nearly did, and so um, this this is what I'm telling you, paddles. Um, I've, I've told you a number of weeks in the running. Get out of that cardboard box, get down there, chuck out the board, and get yourself in this president. President, we all want you to, and we, know, we all know that you can do a good good job, and you're angry enough, so, okay. you know, time for action, buddy. Uh, hopefully the Lee Matthews um, ticket gets voted in, we can have an AG, uh, EGM, but um, Andrew Dimitri is actually on Angus's side. <laughs> you need to become Lee Matthews' campaign manager. Just I can say that. you got to be his, um, I don't know. He's yeah. media advisor. Yeah, you've got to be the guy running the show. Get, get a bit of the war paint on, you know, paint a, get, get a little bit of the uh, red, gold and blue sort of ink Those on your face. Yeah. I thought that was a Brisbane colours. With maroon, blue and gold. Oh, all well, those ones in. You know, get, them on <laughs> your, get them on your face. You know, I think the, the blue was with Fitzroy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and, and get the proper jumper on and not the, not the paddle pop jumper and um, get a bit of the war, war face going. And, um, and and get out there and uh, get in front of the media and tell them what it's all lot, all about. Just don't sing the Kazakhstan national anthem. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! How many times have you done that? When Stronzo joined us, we got the cat wrangler to make some Bosque jokes, and there were also quite a few strange background noises. Anyone else got a Bosque comment? <laughs> that was Bos- That was a Bosque approved comment. Poor <laughs> Bosque. <laughs> Okay, I've got a boss joke. Here you go. I, I heard that they had sausages down at Carlton uh, the other night, actually, Fifey, and I understand that boss took his own bun down. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the pink Mark Murphy bun, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, After he turned us down last week, he's never going to come on. You know. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you're very lovely. Thank you. That's very, very forty. What's going on over there? <laughs> Someone's copping a fucking blowjob while they're on the um on the uh <laughs> I wish. Nah, <laughs> cup of tea. <laughs> what are you talking about? She brought me a cup of tea and I was like thanking her. What by the way, Stronzo, we have um Oh was it? By the way, Stronzi, we have this secret like agreement. Yeah. Uh with that we, we we bullshit on as much as possible to make sure that you know, Fifey has to spend a few hours editing. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's good. I think we've already done a good block just before. So, <laughs> yeah. so if we could put it, put a bit more in there for the for the night. Finish. As long as there's no more bloody interviews. <laughs> oh, that was a pain in the ass. I um, do have an interview, actually, a couple of interview questions for you, Strons, seeing as you're our special <laughs> guest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time I've heard that noise. That rim job is just off the charts. <laughs> it, you know, it, it sounds like an electric drill, and I and and I'm picturing the Mark Man's missus has got like like some dude on the end of an electric drill, and she's <laughs> she's giving it a you know a, a quick chuff up, him, you know. Yeah, but it's more like something two stroke though. So. <laughs> Whipper snipper. Number five. I, Harry O was unhappy because he heard that Mick pulled his sausage out to please people. <laughs> That wasn't number five. None of them were Bosque. <laughs> is this a new number five? <laughs> Harry is deeply offended by people posting Bosque likes things. You squib that like um. <laughs> 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 Come on. Well, I'm not meant to sound happy about it. <laughs> it's, um... <laughs> <laughs> he might yeah. meet up with his with his little bum buddy um. Sharad. Sharad, yeah. They can bounce on trampolines together. Don't try and bring yeah. us into your shit fight. Con- con- <laughs> as well. Not, not going to be upright when they're bouncing on the trampoline. <laughs> no boss jokes. 
Well done. <laughs> well done, boys. <laughs> I think that really counts, though, doesn't it? Yeah, now, now, you've, now you've just made it so. By talking about <laughs> it, you made it happen. <laughs> I thought the penis pump and the Viagra was enough. And, and whatever sex toy you got going on in the background of your fucking house, I'm not sure as well. That's more than enough, too. Jeez, what is that noise? Come on, can you tell me what that noise is? What noise? The squeak. The, the, the weird squeaky fucking thing going on. That? Nah. Nah. That sounds like... Is it that? Yes. Yeah, uh, it was louder than that. That's a zip on my jacket. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> when, 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 Not when, a when, lot. When... when, when <laughs> When he said zip, I was like, oh, what? <laughs> Bosk likes this. <laughs> and you say you don't make yeah, Bosk jokes. No, um, nah, he's all over them now. Yeah. No, nah, he's... Oh, yeah. Seal. He, says we're, he says we're not allowed to leave any of his Bosk likes his jokes in. Yeah, there's two Didn't teams in Sydney there. now, what which makes it twice as... <laughs> yeah, what Did was someone that? just squeeze one off? <laughs> I think it came from Paddle. <laughs> No, it was, it was a fart of... It was one of those, who gives a fuck fart. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was almost as squeaky as that thing coming from uh, Cat Wrangler's house. Oh, the gimp, the gimp fucking cupboard. And before we move on, one last Cat Wrangler moment. Let me throw it out there before you even ask me how I feel, Fifey. Like, has anyone ever heard of the concept hate fucking? Because seriously, if oh. ever there's a woman whose mouth I wanted to spit in, oh. it's Kara. <laughs> Some Kilda football club likes that. Nah, she's too, she's too old for that. She'd love it. She's a filthy bitch. Come on. <laughs> she brags for Richmond, so she's used to a bit of nasty. <laughs> oh, hello. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what do you reckon, fellas? Uh, Anyone else? Oh, <laughs> uh, goodness me. And now for more poster-related outtakes, starting with Bay 13's Resident Sex Offender, Bombers 2003. Hey, we, we've already done this. Haven't we already done this bet with someone else's, one of the Thurlow de Mackey family accounts? Some, we placed bets on... Okay, so I think someone had like the mother of or something. Might have been Was Rangler. That, um, Rangler. Yeah, I think oh, Rangler had that. We, them. And we took bets on how long it would take until bombers posted on the wall. Um, <laughs> yeah. And did he? Did he? Did he post? Uh, I don't think he did, but he liked a few posts. Like noticeably liked a few posts. So he had a sniff. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was. He was testing the waters a bit. And then the it was, account it got banned. Like, it was like the windy day when he, he was looking over his neighbour's fence <laughs> and the washing was just, because of the wind was blowing the washing towards him and he managed to just lean over and grab the neighbour's panties and have a sniff. <laughs> <laughs> so visual. Uh, I can, I, yeah, I can imagine it now. <laughs> He would do that sort of shit. <laughs> and Bombers 2003's presence was felt in another episode. Oh, I expect 20 by 10 goals. Fifey, that microphone is not Bombers' penis. You can get closer to it. You sound like you're over the other side of the room. He has gotten steadily quieter the whole night. He has. Oh, yeah, in I your head, Fifey. He and when Mardo joined us, we discussed Bombers' problem with the swear filter. Yeah, they're all so, still so, having a whinge, and as soon as I mentioned thirty-eight fifteen from earlier in the year, you've got to Royals nineteen twenty-two. He's all over me saying I'm butt hurt. And and <laughs> by the way, he uses uh, he, he's still trying to get around the filter. He he uses uh, two T's on hurt to get around the filter. Um, he's just so desperate to to let me know. Martin, uh, yeah, that's Martin, you're not, hey, like, you're not buddy, but I'm pushing on the um flogcast, are you? Nah, never. never. Nah, he don't, he... I'm, only, I'm only joking around. <laughs> In the past, if you used to type butt, then space, then hurt, it used to go around the square filter. It doesn't work anymore. But... Well, yeah, I tried that today, and, and that's what happened. I was like, oh, wow, that um, didn't crack down. Thanks, Chief. To, Thanks, sorry. Sorry. It has to Bombers be doesn't know that that happens. <laughs> he tried to, he said, I was, he said I was butt hurt about something earlier this week, and it came out offended. <laughs> and, then, and then he's quoted it again, and he's gone, no, and he's put a space between every letter, and I've edited it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. <ice. laughs> Shut up, Bombers 2003. <laughs> he said, No, I said B U T T H U I C. 
<laughs> oh, I've hurt your feelings now, haven't I? <laughs> oh, no. He's offended. <laughs> He's... No, no, no. Be you. That is ex- that is... <laughs> <laughs> Did you listen last week, Ant, to the series uh, episode? I listened to bits of it, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's like we got the top five written there, and now it's going to be it's what number two, Sue's fart bomb. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we should have said, um, Sue's trying to learn fart. (laughs) (laughs) Robbo's sniffing around again. I think he's had a few accounts deleted. Oh, well, you know, he's always going to come back, he's a psychopath. I think that he's he's seriously mentally deficient because not only does he come back with grim regularity, but he has this the the complete same modus operandi. He he puts together a username, which is a single string of words, a uh, string of letters, which is um, multiple words, and before before four, four or five points posts. He's, he's throwing up a Collingwood 2010 premiership picture. Or the Carlton Spoons one. <laughs> or the Carlton Spoons. That's the dead giveaway. And that's that's within five minutes of him being on. So that's, that's what makes, him, makes me think, he's just, he's a fucking mental case. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to see an exchange between him and Bombers. Oh, maybe we could shut them in a, a, a private chat room. It'd be pretty funny to watch. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I mean... Um, Dimmitt's a, uh, he, he's a, he, he's a pissy little button pusher, but um, can he sniff out a Robbo fast? Did, did he, did you see the post he reported today? Which one of you said he averages like 10 reports a day? Uh, that might have been me. No, no, I actually oh. looked at the stats. He reported 10, he reported 10 posts someday last week. Jesus. Or over he's a days. fucking sook. I mean, he's got, I mean, what are you doing with your life if you're reporting... 10 threads a day, seriously. Yeah, no, I actually had a look. That was a confirmed stat for just a random day, like two days before we recorded last week. Yeah. Yeah, he's our he's our hodgepodge. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because he reports that thread. It gets rejected because no one gives a shit, um, basically. And then he starts using terms that you... he, I think it was he used the term um, someone... He used the term raping or something like that and the way you're not supposed to use it. He he breaks that rule. Whereas if he saw someone else post it, he'd report it. Oh, he it's just him. it's just that whole golem yeah. thing. It's like on one hand it's like, yeah, you know, good smeagol, on the other hand it's like oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we can't do it. Yes. Yes, we can. We can do whatever we like. <laughs> but they'll be seeing us, precious. <laughs> The hypocritical reporter. How, how do you how do you find those guys, Fauci? The guys who dish the shit, and when it comes back, they spam the report button. Yeah, oh, I got I got it the other week when um, I think it was redacted said something about calling someone a butt masher or you're a button masher, and I was just like, I've seen you report a post before, and I mentioned it, and he's like, bullshit. Just like some of those times, you just want to go screenshot the post reports. You mean like um, Cat's Premiers when I screenshotted his aliases? <laughs> <laughs> it's very amusing. I'm... I feel like we're screening from uh, Footscray. Like, we've got so many of their fans on board. It's like a Footscray episode. Well, that's just the main board one every week with the Carlton contingent. Yeah, it's a serious what flavor there? to me. What do you mean? There's, there's me and there's Go Grip and North Melbourne. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I just needed to ask Griffey if how he was going now. Is now that kangaroo shooting's been made legal, what is he doing for a job? <laughs> I'm running over them, mate. <laughs> <laughs> now that they use poison to colour kangaroos up north, Griffey, what do you actually do for a living? <laughs> Can we include that somewhere? <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, hey, Griffey, I need to ask you a question, mate. Mm. How, yeah. how good is it that you've got the whole of North Melbourne supporter base hating your guts? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just persistent, I guess. <laughs> You're like a dog with a bone. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, when they when um they can't get you back down, no matter how much they want it. Um, like yeah, um, they follow you around. We actually met Sweet Left Foot, and he was talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> 
He doesn't even it's post like, on the bay anymore. He drops he drops in from time to time. But this is one dog that's boned every roo, roo on the board. Like I thought um Sweet Left Foot was obstacle, but he's cancelled that as well, yeah. No, that was Mario. No, that was Mario. Mario. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, Sweet Left Foot's um door of promotion. Oh, is he? Yeah. Mm. If yeah. there's a North user with account cancelled by user, you know it's Mario. Yeah, <laughs> of course. What was I thinking? Yeah, it's a Mario alliance. <laughs> Is there ever going to say that? <laughs> oh, that's a new Bayfair meme, isn't it? E L Y A S. How about we do a little segment, your favourite Elias? We can say all oh, my favourite Eli- Elias is accountant supporters. <laughs> All the ham products. Uh, he's still going. He, he just posted some crap on the Melbourne board. <laughs> oh, what, Colotta ham? Yeah, yeah. It was banned. Hey, God, I'll find it again. Okay, he um he posted a thread on the Melbourne board. If Jim Steins didn't have cancer, this shit Melbourne team would give him cancer. <laughs> And the subject was, sorry, the, the description was, poor guy, the shithouse dream drove him to an early death. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perma, isn't it? He, it lasts 50 minutes. <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> good all Yeah, because I think we just board banned him from Bay 13, so he's just been... <laughs> yeah, he did, he sent me a perma, it's just um, something like, why the fuck did you ban me? I'm like, well, you're not coming back now. Have you noticed all um Martos and all the alias accounts have got the alias tag on them now? Yeah. Yeah, I put them on there. <laughs> <laughs> Was the winger to butcher and I can't fucking remember him and his um J- JDE mate. And in our final episode for the year, the Flog of the Year candidates prompted this discussion. Imagine what a gathering with these fine, astute people would be like. It would be interesting. I reckon it'd be worth chief bankrolling, just like some sort of pub room and put them all in there at once with like a keg and, and lock cameras. The it was a pretty funny gif on um, Meme Base where um, there were these two dogs that were just going at each other, but they were on leashes and they were like inches away from each other. They're going, ah! at each other and that the caption was internet and then their leashes broke and so they could actually face each other and then it was like real life and they just turned away and walked away Can't yeah that's that's my vision of jades and black flag actually <laughs> mm. no but you, these people wouldn't fight or anything it'd just be one weird well you might get chloroform from bombers or something <laughs> But, I mean, you would, you would just get these weird sort of... Like, you'd be oh, in there for two would, minutes and you'd be like, you would, I, I want to get out of here. you just get these insane conversations yeah. between people who don't actually know each other. No, I agree with you, Dan. Your skin would crawl sitting in a room with them for two minutes. If those people mentioned, could you imagine Bombers and Tiger Boys? Like, I'm just trying to think of the ones who, even though they've got the luxury of posting, being able to read back what they've said, check, proofread what they've said, and they still spit out what they do. Just <laughs> yeah. imagine. I would love to get Robbo motivate in the same room as Suze. You know, it'd just be lots of spitting and stuttering, I reckon. <laughs> lots of pointing as well. Can't shit. <laughs> Can't shit. <laughs> and in the season wrap episode, Teach sung this for us. I'll tell you what, I'll sing us out tonight with a, uh, with a song that, um, that Buddy Franklin is going to sing to all of the, uh, the hot chicks that he meets on, on Bondi Beach as he, he pretends to be um, French and, and, and lure him back to his pad. So this is, um, um, a Buddy would go back to a great song by um, Bill Wyman of the Rolling Stones to, um, to pick up chicks on Bondi Beach. And he would just, he would just saunter up in his little, um, his really, really tight uh, um, Tony Abbott um what are they called? The, uh, the speedos. Buggy smudges. The bugly smudges. <laughs> <laughs> the bugly smudges. <laughs> the budgie smugglers. And he would rock up and go, Je suis un rockstar. Je suis un résidence. Je habite là. À la south of France. Voulez-vous partir with me and come and rest là with me in France? Now, you blokes would never have heard that song, would you? No. We have now. Yeah. It, it, well, it was it was a legitimate song <laughs> by Bill Wyman from the Rolling Stones called Je suis on Rockstar, which means I am a rock star. And um, he is, uh, you know, the, the Rolling Stones, he was the shittest singer, and it was the shittest song, but it went to number fucking one because he was part of the Rolling Stones and all of the... the Redacted. ...fans just jumped on. That's just... Why was he singing it in French? Um, I think he had a French girlfriend at the time. 
Oh, so he sung it on his own. So it's kind of like how yeah. Ringo Starr had a solo career. Yep, exactly yeah. that. Exactly that. And a, sh- and a completely shit song. But uh, I, I remember it uh, from my youth and thinking that, fuck me, if this guy can get a number one song, I can do anything. <laughs> and to finish off the outtakes, unfortunately we don't have any more hidden gems of paddle singing. So to take us out, here's a medley of all of them. Followed by another singing act we had. Thanks for listening all season. Old Collingwood forever. They know how to play the game. Side by side they stick together to hold the magpie name. See the barracks are shouting. As all barracks should, oh, the premiership's a cake for well, the good old pulling wood. Every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Kazakhstan is the greatest country <laughs> in the world. All our countries are run by little girls. <laughs> Kazakhstan is the number one exporter of potassium. All other Central Asian countries have very little no potassium. <laughs> what the hell? All other countries are home of the game. I can't fuck, I forget the rest of them. <laughs> Thank awesome.